So um, I'm talking about our project prioritizing alerts from static analysis with classification models. I'm Lori Flynn, and my large team is named here, um, and they all contributed to our project. Um, I guess that wasn't the button. I'm just going to hit this. There we go. Okay. So um, as, as you all were just talking about um, with David Warren's uh, presentation, um, during those software development and software, and, uh, software assurance processes, um, code bases are tested in multiple ways. Uh, using static analysis, using dynamic analysis, unit tests, and many more types of tests. Um, our project focused on static analysis. Um, it, you can see in this diagram the process of where code bases on the top left are analyzed by one or more static analysis tools, each of which then outputs a set of alerts or diagnostics. Today, following the arrows at the bottom, um, today the alerts must be analyzed by a human manually in order to determine if there truly were flaws or if there were false positives. Unfortunately, that means that many alerts get left unaudited because there simply isn't enough effort available. Our goal of this project is to follow the arrows um, going uh, to the top, up to the green rimmed chart. Um, we're doing classification algorithm development using CERT and collaborator audited data that accurately classifies most of the alerts as expected true positive or expected false positive, and the rest is indeterminate. Our long-term goal is an automated and accurate statistical classifier intended to efficiently use analyst effort and to remove code flaws. So uh, as you can see in that green rim chart, uh, the green bars are the automatically classified true and false positives. And, um, Ideally, we'd like to get a prioritized small number of alerts for manual audit. Our approach uses a novel combined use of multiple analyzers, a variety of features, and competing classification techniques. The competing classifiers we tested include Lasso Logistic Regression, CART, Classification and Regression Trees, Random Forest, and Extreme Gradient Boosting. And some of the features that we used, we actually used a ton of features, um, but a handful are listed here. They include the names of the static analysis tools, count of significant lines of code, complexity, <coughs> coupling, and cohesion metrics, the idea of the SEI coding rule, and much more. So the, um, the way we developed and tested the classifiers is shown in this diagram. Starting from the top, we have archived audit data. And for the left side, we created per rule alert classifiers. Um, so to do that, we split the alerts into, the, into sets of uh, cert coding rules that they map to. And then we further split that into a training set that we developed the classifier models from and a test set that we validated the models on. Um, Additionally, looking at the right side of the diagram, the red part, we created classifiers for all the alerts. Um, for that, we did not split the data. Instead, we used it all and used the rule IDs as features. And we did the same training uh, set to develop the model and test set. The data we used to create and validate classifiers include cert audited alerts. We have about 7,500 audited alerts in our archive. And three DOD collaborators audit their own code bases with enhanced scale. We then pulled data, certain collaborators, and segmented it. 70% of the data was used to train the model, and 30% was used for testing. 
We also added classifier variations on the data set per rule, per language, with and without tools, and others. In total, we developed and tested 288 classifiers. So we're uh, overall happy with our results, but we have a lot more work to do. Um, some, some highlights of, of our achievements are listed here. The general results are listed at the right. Um, they're not true for every test uh, of the 288. Um, but the classifier accuracy rankings for the all pooled test data are that XGBoost uh, accuracy was about equivalent to random forest, which was better than CART, which is about equivalent to a logistic regression. Um, and looking at the top left, you can see that um, our all rules classifier accuracy reflects exactly that. Um, I have 158 listed there because although we have 382 CERT coding rules, um, we only have audit data, um, audited alerts for 158 of those rules. Uh, okay, next bullet down, the classifier accuracy rankings for collaborator test data were a little bit different. The logistic regression and um, classifiers were about equivalent to the random forest accuracy, which was better than XGBoost and CART, which was better than CART. Um, the per rule classifiers, unfortunately, right now, were generally not useful because we lack data per rule. Um, but for three rules, we were able to build classifiers that we uh, uh, have confidence in. So on the left bottom chart on the slide, you can see our single rule classifiers. The column on the left is the cert rule ID. And although we were able to build classifiers for each of these uh, rules, using our, our studio coding um, uh, environment. Um, the ones with the asterisks, which are all the ones on the bottom, we uh, had a very small quantity of data, so the results are suspect. But for those top three rules, we do have confidence in the results. And um, the uh, rule that we have the best accuracy for is in 31-C. And the accuracy ranges from 97 to 98%. Um, in 31-C uh, actually uh, represents about a third of the CERT audited alert data. Um, so it has a huge impact <laughs> on our results. Um, that rule is uh, about um, correct bounds checking for integer conversions. Okay, back to general results. So with tools as feature classifiers were better than without. That's significant because um, our research is notable in using multiple static analysis tools. And lastly, the accuracy of single language versus all languages data was that when we built classifiers only with uh, alerts for C language, the accuracy was better than for all combined, which was better than for Java only. Results with DOD transition value include software and paper on classifier development, um, code for developing classifiers in the R environment, um, and a paper which is actually in progress um, on classifier development analysis and use. Uh, we've got another paper which was uh, that came out of this project which was accepted to IEEE SecDev this November, um, which is on a lexicon and rules. Uh, a standard lexicon and rules for static analysis alert auditing. Um, additional software we developed in, that could be transitioned include the Enhanced Scale Tool, um, which is an auditing framework based on the CERT Scale Tool. We added data collection and archive sanitizer, alert fusion, and offline installs in a virtual machine, and training to assure high quality data, including training on CERT coding rules, auditing rules, enhanced scale use, and an auditor quality test. For future work, uh, we want to improve accuracy by trying different classification techniques, a different mix of features, including semantic features, dynamic analysis tool results as features, and we need more audit 
archive data. Additional data is welcome. Potential collaborators, please contact me. And um, our FY17 project that builds on this um, focuses on rapid expansion of the per rule classifiers. 